Hello and welcome to Nantucket. Nantucket is an island off the coast of Massachusetts in the US, but it's also a game. A game set in the same time period as the book Moby Dick. Well, two years after Moby Dick. If you remember Moby Dick, it was Captain Ahab's hunt for the great white whale Moby Dick in 1818. He failed and in the end he was dragged away by the great uh, whale. This is two years afterwards and we are, well, I think we are going to be on the hunt for Moby Dick as well. I've played the tutorial, and but I'm playing the game more or less blind because there's uh, there is a storyline to it. Let's go ahead and select new game. First of all, let's create our character. This is Ishmael. Ishmael was the narrator of the book. I'm going to pick somebody else from the book, actually. I'm going to pick uh, Stubb, the second mate of the... What was the name of the ship? Pequot? Yeah, in Moby Dick. And we get to pick attributes here. Hunting, sailing, science, and crafting. And hunting, obviously, is going to be... Well, this is set in uh, the 1800s, hunting whales. It's going to be very useful for that purpose, obviously. Sailing, that is probably to improve our ship, as you can see in that info box there. Science, I think, has to do with healing and... Other things related maybe to technology and then crafting, improving our ship. So I'm going to pick science, I think. Let's do that. But I also get to pick a trait. So the trait improves uh, my character here in some way. Smart, plus one point to spend an attribute. So we can do another attribute if we wanted to. There's the strong two damage in combat against sea creatures. Old sea dog, 50% hit points regained during the navigation. Healthy, one extra hit point per level, and open-minded, one extra XP gained per day of navigation. I'll go for old sea dog. Let's do that. And that's all we have to do. Let's disable tutorial. Sea dog here, by the way, means we're going to play a uh, permadeath version of it. I'm not going to do that. And here we are in Nantucket. This is our home port, and we have a few things we can do. We do have our ship here in the background. Let's take a look at that ship just real quick. It's on the right. It's the Melville. It's a small ship. It's not in good shape. It's rotten, as you can see here. Hmm. We need to get up to, uh, once the average level of our compartments here on the ship are level 2, we'll, we'll improve our quality of that. We can have some cargo, 64. It has some hit points. It's pretty slow, 6 knots. Max crew is 3. And it has one whale boat. We use those in combat. Each whale boat, I believe, can hold three of our crew members. And we have a couple of compartments in here. We don't have all of them. We can't fit everything in here. But we'll look at those a little bit later. Later on, we can also buy other ships, bigger ships, better ships. Let's go ahead and say cancel. And let's get some crew members for our ship. Here in the tavern, uh, we can see uh, the all the possible crew members that we can recruit. Here on the left... Here's our character sheet. Stub has 13 hit points for prestige. We use that to recruit our crew members. We don't pay them money to recruit them. They are paid after we come back to port and we split up uh, how much, uh, well, will be captured during our trip. We do use cash though for buying stuff at the general store over here. So we're going to have to need that. Right now, our lay, our portion of anything we find is 100%. As we get more crew members, we're going to have to split that up. And as you know, we have one trait, old sea dog, and we have Ahab's doubloon. Hmm. Survivor's pride, prestige plus three, if used by the captain. Call for gold, morale plus five, if used by a crew member. So I guess if we give that to a crew member, their morale would go up by five. Here's our stats, uh, skills, dice as well. That has to do with combat, and I'll show you that when we get to it. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. Our ship can hold three crew members we have none right now we're looking at the uh, the cabin boys kind of an all-round kind of a basic crew member <clears throat> on our ship um they don't cost any prestige you can see here they're level zero and that's how much prestige they cost we have four points here we have used none i think i want to go for a hunter first of all remember we're going to be fighting whales most likely i'm thinking so Maybe Elbert over here, what does he have? He has the Diligent trait, plus one working attribute. Well, that sounds good. Anything in green is going to be good. Old Sea Dog, plus 50% HP regained. Well, same as I do. 
And he also has Musician, plus 5 Morale. That's pretty good. It's either him or Harrison, but Harrison... Seasick? Oh, that's not a very good thing, right? And Rowdy. Albert, you're it. We're gonna recruit you. We're gonna say higher. And we used up one of our prestige here. Yes, 13 hit points, just like we do. Excellent. Now, who else do we need? Well, we have the sailors, we have craftsmen, and we have scientists. Hmm. Now, if you look at, uh, by the way, as part of combat, Albert here, he has access to the hunting dice in the game. When you fight a battle, battle you roll a d6, a six-sided die, and... Yes, you can see here, of those six squares, he has three filled in. That means he has a 50% chance of getting a chance to attack. If we look at the scientist Willard over here, level one, he has two different types of things he can do during combat. He can also, like our hunter, use the hunting action, but he only has two out of six chances to attack. If he uses his uh, science dice, he has 50% chance to attack instead. And he is more towards geared towards healing. He wants 4% of the lay versus Elbert wants 3. Hmm. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick one. Let's pick him. So we have a hunter. He can attack. We have Willard who can heal. Who else should we get? Well, let's get one of the, um, the cabin boys here. Level 0. They don't have any traits. Yeah, they do have traits. Robert. Old Sea Dog. And Musician. But... In return is weak. Less combat. I don't know about that. Here is uh, Cleveland. Superstitious. Hmm. Morale bad. Ah. Bert though. One extra hit point per level. And. Senior Phyllis trait. Plus two morale per crew member with different nationality. Well. I don't think that matters right now. Because we're right here. In Nantucket. I think that matters. Probably. Right. It makes sense. Where you recruit. Your crew members. Nelson. He is a gourmet, plus 100% morale effect of the food. Oh, okay. Glenn has a negative modifier, dull, plus uh, minus one working attribute. And Felix, same thing in there. But you know what? Should we go for Nelson? Let's go for Nelson and recruit him. We still have two prestige. We're not going to use that. We can use it later. We can switch them out if we want to. But let's go with two. We'll see how that goes. Maybe it's not... Hmm. But let's keep it. We'll see what, what happens. And that's our crew members. Let's go to the general store. When it comes to traveling on the ocean, we need a couple different things. We need water, we need food, grog for morale, and wood to keep our ship in good shape. Now, uh, we have nothing right now, so if we go out to sea, everybody's going to be in bad shape. For $2 each, we can buy a barrel of water. Let's go ahead and buy one. will be 13 days. Well, how much do we need? Well, we don't really know where we're going to go, right? Let's return that, and let's go check the newspaper instead. Right down here. The Sailor's Post, January 1820. George the IV is the new king of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. There's a Russian sloop, Vostok, claims to have sighted the ice sheet of Terra Australis. Portuguese forces defeat Uruguayan independence in, in Uruguay, I guess. And then we have an option to look at jobs. Okay. Discover a new whaling area. Various ships have reported the presence of large quantities of whales in Baffin Bay. It could be a new hunting area. Well, that sounds good. 16 days away. Hmm. I guess 16 days come back as well. So 32 days minimum. We'll probably take that one. What about this one? Unveil the Sapphire's destiny. The Sapphire was declared lost days ago, and her destiny is shrouded in mystery. She was traveling from Nantucket to Cape Town. South Africa, but she never reached her destination. Explore the route she took to locate her, the ship and her crew. Well, let's take... If I take this one now, I think I'm going to keep these two until I complete them. If I don't take it, and next time I come back, there might be a different one. Now, this one gives me $250 cash, but also one prestige. That is quite good. Or this one gives me 200 cash. Let's take this one first, and we'll see about the next one later. So now we have a mission, 16 days away. Let's go back to the general store and see what we need to buy. 32 days at least, right? 38 seems low. I'm going to go up to 60. You never know, winds and other things happening. 
51, yeah, we'll do 51 days of food. If you find a whale, if we kill it, we can probably get food from that, right? Grog for morale, we want to make sure we keep that high. 56 is probably good. And wood. Repairing our ship, let's do 60 on that. So now we have 800 left. Spend some money there. But that looks pretty good. Let's go back to our ship. So, this is the Melville. All right, now, what we could do is, we could maybe research something. So improve one of the locations on the ship. Like this one here. Hammocks. And I don't really know exactly. Unlocks the forecastle compartment. Yeah, that is how it's pronounced. Forecastle, not forecastle. Um, quarter deck. Okay. Well, we can see here, actually, two hit points restored per day on the ship. 8% sailing speed. Cost 200. Next level here of the shelving, 8% cargo space. Here, crew morale, but we can't do that because we need somebody with a kaboo skill. Oh, okay. Uh, surgical kit. What about these? Crow's nest, 25% field of view. And harpoons. Harpoon base damage, 8. That looks like a good one. Let's maybe schedule that one here in port. The research of harpoons has started. It will take 90 days to complete. Then you can come back here. Okay, great. So we'll do that in 90 days. So now we're working on that in port. Don't have to worry about it. We have 600 gold left there, as you can see. Let's sail away then and take a look at the world map. And here we are. This is the world as we know it. Back in the 1800s, in a way. If I hold down the middle mouse button, I believe... No, wait. Left mouse button. Uh, I can drag it around and I can take a look at the world. Um, now, we're up in Nantucket. I just gave an order here. Ignore that. Nantucket. We have a few places we can travel to. Horta over here. Hmm, you can see different prices for different things there. Okay. So, the pictures you're seeing there is whale blubber, whale fat, and oil. Peterhead. 46 for oil. Horda is, what, 52. Cape Town, remember that other mission we saw? Is it down here in South Africa? And we have something here on the East Coast. Brazil, I guess. Uh, maybe Argentina. In Bituba. And then over here, we also have a town on New Zealand. And Honolulu, Hawaii. And I think those are the cities of the world we can travel to. But we can travel anywhere we want in the world. And right now... There is a mission, and it looks like right here. Whaling area discovered. We can go there. Before we do that, though, let's look at our character. That's the same sheet we saw before. And um, we can take a look at our missions as well. Rise from the ranks is the main quest. If you want other captains to share rumors about Moby Dick with you, you have to become respected whaler. Prestige 25. Well, we have four. Look for jobs in the cities or hunt whales around the world. Okay. For now... Discover whaling area. We're not done with it. It's still ongoing. We get 200. Let's say uh, go to quest. That's up there. Okay, great. I'm going to right click and say go. And now we're on speed 3 actually. We're going to go down to speed 1 as you can see here. January 2nd. This down here by the way shows you how you're sailing. And if you look up in the right hand corner, it's a good thing. We're sailing, sailing windward. Meaning the wind is coming from behind. Well, more or less anyway. We're sailing this way here. Wind is coming from this direction. So, but not too bad, actually. So let's go ahead and start up the game. And this is the slow speed. You can keep an eye on this area right here. You see here, we can create a safe dock here. Basically go ashore, spend some wood, and uh, then start looking for more wood and, and hunt for food and things like that. We don't need it right now. We can expand this, actually, and take a look at our ship, though. Right now, we have our crew members assigned to different places on the ship. And, uh, well, nobody is topmost here in the crow's nest. No extra field of view. Hmm. Now oh, wait. Nelson. Oh, the cabin boy is up there, I guess. Okay, so I quarter deck here. That would be Albert, I guess. So Albert is here. And this here is Willard. And this here is me. I'm the captain, as you can see there in the forecastle. Plus one hit point per day to man inside. Okay. So we can pick somebody maybe to take him up here. What about... Well, he's up there already, right? 
So plus 25% field of view. And then he has an extra 10%, I guess is what that means, right? Down here we have uh, the quarter deck with Elbert. Sailing speed is improved. That's good. We're using less, uh, we're staying out at sea at less time, right? And then Willard, cargo space. He's improving the space, optimizing it down there. Well, that's pretty good, I think. Let's keep that. Um, this one here. Oh, yeah, upgrading Nantucket. It's ready in 88 days. Uh, can I actually put somebody here? What if I take him? No, I can't. It's not yet ready. So, we'll leave it at that. We have 3 out of 3 mm, crew. We have morale 8. Albert has 11. Willard 6. Nelson 6. Well, I don't really know what happens once we go down in morale, but we'll see. We are fully healed. 32, I think. We're paying 1.3% per day. We're traveling at 6 knots, and our ship is in not like, the greatest ship. And the cargo hold is not full by any means. So let's go ahead and continue up. And days go by here. We can actually speed it up to speed 3. Oh, something happened. There she blows. Your crow's nest, I guess, yells as he spots a fin in the distance. It could be a precious whale. Lower the whale boats and lead the hunt. That means I take command of the fight. I want to do that. If I don't want to do that, if I want to do auto combat, I can do this one. Or I can just skip it. Let's go ahead and, and lower the boats and see what we find. There's a creature encounter. Okay, let's deploy our crew members. So this is our whale boat down here. So we have three slots. Out of our four, who are we going to put there? Well, hmm. So Stubb here, he has two hunter attacks. Willard, two. Elbert has three. That's all he can do. Yeah. And Nelson can only do that as well. So we'll take Stubb. Not Stubb. We'll take Elbert for sure. If I take him in a sign, he's down in the slot now. Who else should go? We want to fill it up, right? We'll take Nelson, probably, right? He has 10 hit points. And then, should I go? I have 13. Willard, remember, he can heal. Maybe we'll take Willard as well. A sign. Let's do that and see how the battle goes. Combat. So today, uh, round one, Deep Waters Mirage. Random crew members get state stunned. Albert is stunned. Well, that's bad. So, hmm... Help, but can't do anything. So here is the command from that the the order or the the attack that our opponent's going to do. The narwhal here. It's a newborn, small one, only three hit points, but they're going to do something. And unfortunately, we're going to roll the die now, and we have to decide what type of action we want to take. Albert can't take anything; he's stunned. And if he even if he wasn't stunned, he could only take the uh, hunter action. Nelson can also just do that. Cabin boy actions, which is the hunting. <clears throat> the attack action. We could say Willard does a first aid is what he can do. Okay. Hmm. But I don't need first aid right now. Let's pick the attack action as well. And hopefully that will be good. A clumsy strike is what he can do. And the same for Nelson. Fortunately, a clumsy strike is good enough. He only has three hit points, right? <clears throat> Let's roll the dice. And hopefully our dice will land on the right spot. Oh, yeah, okay, good. So Nelson did not get a chance to attack. He ended up here, whereas Willard did get this. So we do get to do a clumsy strike, and we attack first. So I'm going to take him, and who should I attack? Well, I'm going to attack the narwhal over here, the newborn. And it's dead, fortunately. They all turn fin up. The agitated waters royal red with blood, and then they finally fall silent. You raise your arm, and your men's victory cries surround you. Good, so after the battle, we got, what, 23 XP here for everybody in the battle only. One morale of Elbert. Willard got six. Okay, good. Plus five morale for last blow. Okay, good, excellent. Now, there is some blubber here, which is, as you can see, raw fat from whales. You can transform it to oil to get more money using the Triworks room on the ship, which we don't have, I don't think. So, we'll take that. And we have room on the boat. 13 out of 64. There's also some food here. Well, I guess it's the whale meat. And that is it. And now we head on back home, I'd say. To, uh... No, head on towards our goal. Not home. Not home yet. Let's go. So it was just outside Nantucket. Ah, another one. 
I think we had to give another shot, right? We didn't take any damage. And now we know how to do it. Okay, who do we take? I think Stubbs again. Oh, yeah, him and... Well, Stubbs, wait a minute. Albert, we'll take Albert. Yeah, Albert is what I meant. And do we do... Should we take Albert? Yeah, Albert for sure. Stubb and Nelson. Let's do that. Deep waters, clear waters, no effect. Okay, great. So, the newborn narwhal. Narwhal here has picked his, what he's going to do. We don't know what yet. We're going to say, you're going to attack. Yep. We could say attack or we could say heal. I'm going to say attack. With a little bit of luck, we should be in good shape here. Bad luck. See that? We didn't hit anything. We got a tusk strike against us. Bleeding two damage per turn. So Stubb is down to 11. That was bad luck. Let's do the next turn here. We'll keep them the same. No point yet here for Stubb, which is me, uh, to do any healing, right? So I'm going to say Kevin Boy. Let's roll. Oh, three attacks. Who should attack? Well, as you can see, I can do a clumsy. Nels can do a clumsy. Albert can do a good attack. Who do I want to gain skill? Maybe Albert. He is our, you know, hunter after all. Eight damage to target character. Yeah. Let's rope it in. And it's dead. The day is our, ours. The water sees turning and return to normal. All right. What did we get? Willard got nothing. Hmm. And we got 35. I got... No, he wasn't in the battle. I got 35. And one prestige for combat one. Very good. I should be in the battle more often, right? There's some fat here. We'll take that. Take that. Now, we are probably a little bit injured. Let's... Can I see that here? <clears throat> uh, it's probably me. Yeah, it's me here. I have 11 out of 13. Base health, health 13. <clears throat> okay. We will... Uh, Go ahead and continue. And there's my health going up. Excellent. We're one day behind schedule, looks like. Or one day ahead, maybe. <clears throat> Finohoi. Okay. Lower the whaleboats and check the area. Okay. So we have to have a creature encounter here. Couldn't get away from it. Kill all the enemies. Well, we'll try. I think stop again. Assign and we'll do Albert. Assign. Don't know what kind of animal we're going to have here. Might be tougher than a newborn, maybe. Um, we'll take Nelson. It's a newborn. Okay, good. Versus wind. Crew member damage, negative 20. So we do less damage this time around. Hmm. Elbert will still do 8, I think. I'm going to switch everybody over here. Well, Elbert has to have an attack, because they're going to do less than 3 now, I think, right? We'll see. He did get an attack. A normal strike, 6. And there it goes. The day is ours. Okay, excellent. And uh, we got more XP. One more prestige. Good. We'll take all the loot. And we're almost there. I think we're here now, right? Wait, let's pause. We were ahead, now we're late. We can go back here and we can say, yep, we did discover. Let's head on back home. This is what I think we should do. Right here to Nantucket. We have our harpoon upgrade in 74 days. Hmm. Okay. We could travel somewhere else, but if we do... <clears throat> we might be in bad shape, because we don't have that much food, right? Uh, 109 days left. Oh, food we do have enough. Water, 46. 39 days grog, and 50 days wood. But I am unsure of that. If I were to pick Peterhead... 24. I could make it, but I want my money right in Nantucket. Let's go back home instead and check that out. Okay, so here we are at speed 1. We're going to go ahead and go to speed 3. Is, are we against the wind? Yeah, it's bad wind, as you can see up here. Oh, sails with no winds. Ship speed 90%. These arrows, by the way, they show you the way prevailing winds. So it's, it's bad right now. Here we go. Okay, we should be good. You can keep an eye here. We're eating and drinking. There she blows. Another whale. Well, I think we'll take it. So we're going to do, hopefully, it's a uh, newborn again. I'll take Stub. Last use. We'll take the same one. It's a newborn again. Okay. <clears throat> Sunny Seagulls. 
we just play that card's face up. Okay, it's gonna do a Tusk Strike. Add Bleeding status. Mm, okay, Bleeding means you take damage every turn. We're gonna keep them on this. Strike 8. Oh, good. And we'll get a little bit more of the fat, the blubber. There we go. I think that's good. And we can go ahead and head on home to Nantucket. One day late, two days late. Not too bad. Four days behind schedule. You'll run out of grog soon and your men will not like it. Oh, we're right outside, but we're running out, I guess. What can I do? Dilute the rum with water. How much water do we have? We have three. I have three, 2.2 .2 barrels. I can take one barrel. Minus two morale. Hmm. I will seize drinking grog teetotal. I'm sure we can fix this problem later. Yeah, I'm sure we can fix it later. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, what's going on here? Quest updated. Oh, that's what we got, I guess. Yeah, so that's where that shows up. Let's take this. I will worry about it when all the grog is gone. That's right, because we are home now. Here we are in Nantucket, and what do we get? Hunt profit? Well, we're returning our all the blubber right away, or selling it for 190 and then we take our cut, and I get $175 out of it. There is a newspaper there. Okay, good. Now, if we do want to... Um, we have a little marker here. We want to check out our quest. Let's do that. Get the reward. Let's get that. 200. And now we have um, completed that. There is another option here. Unveil the Indiana's Destiny. It was lost days ago. Travel from Nantucket to Cape Town. Oh, it's the same one, maybe. Okay, so we do get to keep it then. So we're back here now. Everything is looking good. And what we want to do, probably check out our ship. Well, let's do that next time, guys. Join me then with more from Nantucket.